Um, so I've been working on this for the last uh, couple of days. Uh, and yes, I, I just built a tape and a track uh, rack or stand in 2020. Uh, <laughs> as funny as it sounds, I have done that. Um, some people might say this is a big waste of time. Some people might say, well, that's really cool because uh, now you have a place to put all your A-tracks. Um, I didn't show this build uh, being uh, the process of building it because uh, I didn't... It was, this is basically kind of like a little um, practice. Uh, well, basically to see what, what a new machine that I purchased can do. Um, let me just show you. So I recently purchased uh, a planer uh, because I basically got tired of spending a lot of money uh, buying wood from Home Depot. So now I can basically recycle wood and build whatever I need to build. So this was the project that uh, was uh, basically put together. Uh, I made this all from recycled wood. I think the only wood that I bought because I didn't have any more of this size was for the, these shells right here. Uh, but everything else, uh, it's all recycled wood. Um, so uh, just basically a quick demo of how this thing works. What I did is uh, uh, I joined the, these three pieces of wood into one. And then uh, I made slots for these little kind of like a... Um, They kind of go in a little firmly, a little tight. But I made these little dividers so that, um, let me see if I can get this other one one-handed. So these little dividers I made out of uh, leftover uh, particle board uh, for the back. Uh, so this was made. And then the cassettes go like this. And obviously you have three rows of cas or three columns of cassettes here. And then the A tracks. So go right here and then on top there is another let me see if I can get this in view there is another rack for, for even more tapes right, so those are the other dividers that go in there I'll briefly walk you over the process of how I made this uh, so these side pieces were leftover fence that uh, I had laying around uh, so what I did is I ran them through my my planer. Um, I joined them first, obviously, and then I ran them through my planer. And then I got the jigsaw and I made this little kind of like C design. Um, and the reason for that was because uh, I wanted to design something that could handle uh, a rack for tapes. And the shelves would be for the A-tracks. Um, I also made it so that in case I want to put more CDs in there, I could probably also put some CDs in there. And this top shelf can also be for tapes. Um, so uh, that was basically it. Um, this is put together with dowels. So I did not use, as you can see on the sides, uh, there are no screws there. So it was all put together with dowels so the shelves are mounted with dowels and glue, dowels and glue, dowels and glue. And uh, the base was uh, a couple of uh, uh, one by threes or one by fours. And uh, they were just glued together, ran through the planer. And uh, I made, uh, I used a, a, a router for uh, the little design, the Roman Ogi. OG, I don't know what you, how you call it. Um, and then everything else uh, was rounded with also my, my router. So the sides are nice and rounded. The shelves are rounded. Uh, this little retainer for the tapes 
is also rounded. So that's basically it. Uh, not an expert carpenter, obviously. So there were a few mistakes. Um, you see that wavy part in the back? That's basically because the shelf that I built was a little bit too wide. Uh, but for me, I think what matters most is for that, those shelves right there to be flush. So that's why uh, I didn't care about the back because well, who's gonna see the back? But uh, that could have been done a little bit uh, better, but I didn't, so this is just a learning experience. And then there's the back. I basically use that uh, particle board or whatever you wanna call it, MDF. And that's the other side. So uh, there were no blueprints for this. I basically just made measurements uh, and designed this myself. Um, so, but I am very satisfied with the results. Um, I think this is going to look nice. And once I have it all uh, put together, I'll also show some video with all my uh, eight tracks and all my tapes on there. So this is basically it. Uh, all my tapes are there. The A tracks are nice and stacked there. And I got my blank tips at the bottom. So if you ask me, I think this is looking really nice. Um, it's low profile enough that it's not gonna take up that much space. Um, so I'm happy with it. Um, and I'm thinking that maybe I might even do something for, with my vinyl that's similar to this. Um, because I'm really liking the style of just how uh, organized it looks. So, nonetheless, uh, thank you so much for joining me today. And I hope that uh, this video gives someone an idea of how to build a nice little uh, cassette rack. And uh, have a wonderful day.